Hello, my kindergarten friends. All right, so last week you made a textured paper. Uh, you were supposed to keep it, and I hope you did, because uh, this week we're going to do a drawing on it, just like um, Horace Pippin would have done when he was younger. He did a lot of his drawings on uh, pieces of wood. So our paper was supposed to give us the idea of wood. So today we're going to do a horse, pip, and fox. And um, we'll do a draw along, so we'll draw together. All right. Um, so if you would, find a black crayon or a dark color. Uh, your fox is going to be red. But I don't know if you want to draw in red or not. But I'm going to draw with a black crayon. And I'm going to start ooh, about right here on my piece of paper. So um, let me lift that up. All right. So let's uh, find your spot. And it's about, I don't know, maybe the length of your finger from the edge of the paper in, in the middle. And so I'm going to start by making the nose. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and color that in. Make a nice round circle. And color that in. Okay. And you're, you're drawing on top of other crayons, so you will have to press hard. But, um, and then I'm going to make a line from the nose straight like this. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to, at the end of this line, I'm going to make a half circle. Okay, so we're making the top of his head. And I know this isn't going to be easy because it's drawing on top of that crayon. It's kind of hard. All right. Um, I'm going to go back to the nose. And I'm going to make a line that comes down this way, like the bottom of his um, jowls or jaws or whatever you want to call that. Okay, so let's make a line coming down from here and curve it just a little bit at the bottom. There you go. And let's go across this way and around the curve just like that like you're going down across his back and around his the back side of him his butt there okay great right. and let's come back over here to the bottom of that jaw and we'll make a curved line that comes down the front like the front of his chest there you go and then i'm going to go across the bottom um, of his belly okay so let's go across the bottom of the belly and then we can close this up right here. <laughs> yes, he kind of looks like a dog right now. Okay, so I'm going to go up here and go ahead and put his ears in. Fox ears, Fox's ears are rounded but they're pointed at the top. There we go, like that. Okay, and let's put a line here. Right there, right from the front, middle of his chest. Right. And then we're going to go down. Like that. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to put a line that way. And then down and around like that. Close, close that shape then. Okay, so this front line, front leg will have that will be up. Back leg, put a leg right there. I know this is kind of hard to draw on the paper since you already got crayon on it, but you can do it. Okay. And let's get a back leg in over here. And a leg over here. All right. 
Now let's make a tail. The tail is going to be like an S shape, right? I'm going to start about right here. And I'm just going to make a wavy line that goes up like that, like, a, like an S. Like you made a big S, flat S. Okay, then I'm going to start here, top, and I'm going to make another S shape just like it. It comes out like that. Okay, so you got two S shapes that you connect. All right, all right, so let's go in and put in the eye, and we start, I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to start with the circle, I'm going to color it in, black circle, okay, and then I'm going to put like a half circle on top of it, and if you want to turn it this way, put a half circle on the bottom, okay, good football. Okay. All right, let's uh, go over here to the, the nose, and I'm going to make a line that goes over just past the, the eye, like that. And then I'm going to come a wavy line coming down. Okay. And... Then I'm going to come over here to his belly and make a wavy line go in a half circle. So it's just kind of, you see what I'm doing? Kind of just wavy. All right. And then over here on the tail, you can make zigzag lines that go across the tail. Okay. And if you want to give him a smile, you can give him a smile. All right. So there's our fox. And our fox can't be floating around in space, so we want to put some ground in there. And I'm going to go about right here on the fox, and I'm going to draw a straight line that goes across here. Okay. And then I'm going to come across with my finger, and I'm going to take it and go that way. Okay, so now he looks like he's walking along the line. All right, and um, let's see. We could put something in the background or sometimes put pictures of his house in there. So maybe we could put like a little house in the background. We start out by making a square and then a triangle on top of the square. Okay. A little chimney there, which is just a triangle, and then I'm going to make a little, so it looks like there's smoke coming out of my chimney. Make a door. Maybe two windows. And we got a little house in the background. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to put a tree back here too. I'm going to come off of the line and put the tree in front of the line. So let's put a, a uh, two lines, curved line, two curved lines like that. And then we're going to make like a cloud shape, okay? See what I did? Like a cloud. All right, then I might put in a little two lines like that. All right. Now the fox is ready to color, and um, you can use crayons. Crayons are fine um, to do this with. Let's see. He's red, and I'm going to color right on top of the red part. All of this is going to be red. So I'm going to take my red crayon, and I am just going to color over top of, and it does still show through the the just like if you were actually coloring on wood, you would still see the grain of the wood through your coloring. Okay? So, um, okay. All right. So we're kind of getting, look, it's got, like, still has the wood grain showing through the red. That's kind of cool. 
just like when Horace cut, would draw his pictures on the um, on the on the wood in the story. Okay, lots of texture, lots of layers. Um, is what we're looking for. I love how that comes through. And it, I mean, it just looks like I'm really coloring up wood. I really love the way that texture has come through. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. I have a tendency to want to, and I'm coloring really hard, really kind of hard too. So the fact that that orange is, is showing through that yellow or that red is just amazing to me. I love it. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Then I'll go and I'll give his two, his legs. Okay. Now his belly and his chest is going to be white, so I'm going to leave that. I'm not coloring that just yet. And then this part of his tail would be red. Right. Okay, then I'm going to find my white crayon, and I'm going to color this white, and no, it doesn't show up super white, but that's kind of neat how that's working. I really like it, and I still have all of that in the background, all of that wonderful texture. I bet when Horace's friends said, make me a picture, Horace, they loved the stuff that he did on wood. I bet they did. What do you think? And his tail. I know I keep coloring, turning the paper, and going upside down, but this is kind of how I am. I turn the paper how I need it to cut so I could color. Okay, and then I'll make a tree in the background. My tree will be green. And you can see the orange coming through the green. That's neat. A little brown. Some brown here. And I think I'm going to make my house blue. Lighter color blue. That almost looks like black, doesn't it? And then I'm going to put yellow on my windows, like I have a light on. And my door will be orange. Why not? Okay. Oh, uh, you can go through if you want to and put imply that there's grass, which is to I make like a V shape with a Y in it, V shape with a line in the middle. And then if you want to color the whole thing green, I guess you could. Maybe we will. It's just lightly color it green. And the rest of it does not. It still sh still shows the wood grain through it. It looks so nice. Such a great job. I love it. I can't wait to see yours.
I cannot wait to see how yours turned out. I bet these are beautiful. A little box. Let's see. We should put some blue in the sky. Make the sky blue. And you do know that sky comes all the way down to the ground. Sky does not stop up in the air. It comes all the way down and touches the ground. So let's make sure our sky comes all the way down. Okay. Light. Wow, and there you have it, folks. We have a wood, a wood drawing, just like Horace Pippin would have made. Wonderful, beautiful job, I'm sure. Don't forget to have um, somebody take a picture for you and send it to me so that I can see your work. Okay. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.